Hello and welcome to this interview here at the National Assembly of Gabon. This venue is hosting the organization of the conference, a special conference focused on food security and alimentation, which is a prelude to the One Forest Summit that Gabon is hosting with friends here in Libreville from March 1st to 2nd. To discuss this subject, food security, I have with me on this set is a uh, the deputy, the MP, Serge Don Obam. Welcome, Mr. Obam. Good morning. How are you doing? Oh, so far, so good. Okay, so we want to go deeper with you about the Wapaxan and what is it exactly about. Can you give us a, a, a brief introduction on what is the Wapaxan and why are we here in Libreville today? Thank you very much for this question. Wapaxan is the network of alliances of each parliament of the 11 states of the Central Africa, each of them should have uh, an alliance in, its, in his parliament to talk about food security. And so far, all these alliance belong to, belong to the, uh, the network that we call Rapaxan. So the Rapaxan is that network in control of these alliances. And, um, these alliances are always all made by parliamentarians of Central Africa and today they came to Gabon to discuss about issues related to food security in Central Africa, first of all, and also because the ruling body, the bureau, is changing. After four years in Congo, it was supposed to be two years uh, due to COVID-19, yeah. we moved to additional, two additional years. And this year, Gabon is going to be uh, ahead of this institution. Um, I'm coming just from uh, a meeting with all the presidents where the decision has been taken that finally Gabon, pres Honorable President Bukubi, is going to be the president of Rapaxan wow. from year 2003 until 2023 until 2025. Okay, so now the Rapaxan, you are the coordinator general in Gabon. What can we say about food security now in the sub region? Because we know we had COVID 19. Was the fight against like food insecurity was better before COVID 19 or after COVID 19 right now? All right, first of all, uh, I want to say I'm the coordinate, general coordinator of the event, yeah. so the, the conference only. Um, regarding food security in uh, the Central Africa region, the figures are very critical. We are, after COVID-19 and the Russia and Ukraine war, we have now 58 million people living in starvation in, in Africa anger, in Central Africa in, Central, in Africa. Central Africa okay so this is a very important issue to raise up in very high level so that uh, high decision makers can be aware of the situation and take decision to solve that issue we cannot continue leaving people behind dying by mal malnutrition or by starvation, we have to take actions uh, to implement laws and decisions that will go in the way of resolving that situation. Okay, but when I hear about starvation, food security, I don't think about the parliament first. What is the importance of the parliament in this fight? The importance of the parliament is that we are the one voting laws. Uh, each year we vote budget for government, all right? So we have to make sure that when studying the budget, bringing by the government, that there are enough money, let's say this way, enough money allocated to uh, agricultural sector, mainly to food security and nutrition. Uh, I put an emphasis on nutrition because we always talk about what goes to the belly, but we don't talk about the quality of what okay. is going in. All right. That's why we bring up that new concept, nutrition. 
So we are the one voting those laws. So we need to make sure that the government have is putting money uh, into the right place to struggle that problem we are having. We are facing malnutrition and starvation. That's why parliamentarians are now ahead, are working with, uh, first of all, the financial and technical partners and the government all together to find solutions. Okay, we, uh, we know that Central Africa is a, a very populous region. We have many countries in it and we have 10 countries represented here today. But what can we do about the movement? Like, because we take, we're talking about food, but Gabon, we know that Gabon doesn't produce enough food. We receive food from our neighbors, sometimes from Brazil, from other countries. What is done to make a better circulation or a better movement of food maybe within the sub-region? Uh, that is a very good question. Uh, right now, what is going on? We are talking about the new free zone, Zlekaf, yes. in our continent. EFCFTA. Yes, thank you for the word. And we think that with that new zone we are creating, the food will not be uh, stuck in one place anymore. It will be moving in the sub-region so that some aliments, some food that you are lacking, Mm -hmm. We may have it easily, maybe from a neighbor. A neighbor. And Ga Gabon, as you are aware of, we are implementing uh, ZAP everywhere. Mm -hmm. So these agricultural zones will help us improve the quantity of food we are producing. And again, uh, we need to put an emphasis on the quality also. We produce, we transform, and we ensure also of the, quanti the quality, quality, the quality of that food, mm -hmm. so that the body, uh, the body of human beings, starting from babies, mm -hmm. uh, be rich with vitamins and all the nutrients the body needs for a better development. But do we have enough technology to produce that food for babies, especially because we know that from one to three years old, it is very sensitive. Do we have here in Central Africa? the capacity to produce what is good for babies. That's why these kind of uh, conferences are very important. important. So if we are aware of this lack, so we just need to find out how to fulfill it. Yeah. You see, so we need to take the decisions to say, okay, in, this, in our region, these are the different difficulties we are facing, okay, to reach this target. From there, we can maybe share, say, okay, you, Cameroon, you can produce this, Gabon, you produce this, etc., etc. Did you, you talk about it between uh, parliamentarians? Oh, from definitely. The... Oh, definitely. We talk about it. One thing already also that we talk about is what we call pest pesticide. Pesticide, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. Because there are some pesticides which are not good for the human body, a uh, human being, yes. okay, for our body. So we ensure that each country of the region does not import that type of pesticide anymore. Do we have uh, an other things that we can use uh, oh, instead of oh, those oh, pesticides? There are, there are some pesticides which are less aggressive, okay. I should put it this way, which are less aggressive for human beings. These are tolerated, but others which are not very good for us, we should prohibit them, we should uh, prevent them from entering into our region. So these are the type of discussions we are having among parliamentarians. And again, uh, one uh, parliamentarian said something during the meeting today, saying, OK, after putting in place all alliances in the 11 states of uh, Central Africa, mm -hmm. what's the next step? And this is one of the next steps. You understand? Customs. So the next step will be implementing rules mm -hmm. or laws that will be for the entire region, okay. because at the same time, uh, ECAS yes. okay, announced yesterday that very soon they are going to open uh, ECAS parliament. So all decisions coming from the UA parliament will come to that regional parliament and then we can implement and vote the laws accordingly. Okay, I was thinking about the FAO. The FAO is the uh, that structure from the UN 
normally that is in charge of this matter. What is the, the what does the FAO bring to the table into these discussions? I love this question. FAO is our main partner. I should say, if the alliances are in place today, it is thanks to FAO. Okay, is our technical and financial partner. partner. Along with FAO, we have also uh, the World Health Organization and we have also UNICEF. They are engaged to work with us, mm -hmm. but the main partner among all of them is FAO. FAO, FAO is working with us and is guiding us uh, accordingly. So, and we are very happy and satisfied with that partnership because we can see the result. If you see all these states, all these parliaments here today, thanks to FAO. Okay, now let's come back to Gabon. Tomorrow we'll start the One for West Summit. We're talking about food security, we're talking about movement of food and people and so and so. What is the expectation that a parliamentarian like you have from this summit? First thing, uh, when we close, during the closing ceremony, they will have a joint declaration, a joint statement of Libreville for the environment sector and agricultural sector, talking about food security. And that statement will be brought to uh, the One Forest Summit tomorrow so that they make we make a link, there is a link between forest and food. Yeah. Because to make a plantation, mm -hmm. you do it in the forest yes. first. Although we have savannas, etc. Mm -hmm. But first of all, or mainly in forests, mm -hmm. okay? And this forest, we need to see what are the new technologies now, mm -hmm. not to destroy the forest because we are forest keepers. Yes. We decided to save our forest for the, 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 the sake of humanity. So we will make that link between what, what are the rules to keep this forest and what are the rules to make also food because we still need to feed our belly. We still have to, we still have to eat. Okay, Mr. Obam, we have reached the end of our interview. Thank you for coming and I hope to see you at the One Forest Summit. Thank you very much. It's okay. been a pleasure. Thank you. So this is the end of our interview. Keep watching Gabon 24. Thank you. Goodbye.